overview what is it? Like nothing else, really. Well, quite like an atom in that it takes the same tubular frame construction and extends it to add an over-roof roll cage, there's more to it than that, of course, the whole structure is unique to the Nomad, with different suspension mounting points and a new, beefier, torquier 2.4-liter 4-cylinder Honda engine. In time this will probably be supercharged and gain a considerable boost from the 235 bhp it currently has. It doesn't need it. It still only weighs around 700 kilograms. The bigger question is what you'd use it for. The answer to that is simple, whatever you damn well like. It's built for fun, you can spec it with a winch and full knobbly tires or keep it more road friendly. It's a blank canvas. It's utterly brilliant. For too long car firms have been getting hung up about making their cars ever stiffer and faster around the Nürburgring. The Nomad shows there's a different way. The long travel suspension is soft, so it doesn't have the whipcrack responses of its more track-orientated sibling, instead, it gambles about like a happy lamb and you get to rediscover all those old lessons about weight distribution and the conservation of momentum. Yep, the big tires do kick back through the steering, but the whole thing feels so well balanced and polished that you're too content to care. It also has a sublime ride, lovely drivetrain and is genuinely fast enough to keep a Ferrari honest. All the time, you'll be hooting with laughter, not something a supercar can normally claim, and the very reason we love the Nomad. Um, inside? Well, technically, yes, there is an inside, but the Nomad suffers from the same issue as the Atom, namely wind up your trouser legs and an absence of weather protection. It's also not the easiest car to get in and out of. Through the roof is the best technique, you'll hardly look elegant if you try getting in and out through the door aperture. But the driving position is great, the sense of occasion is terrific and it's beautifully built, although do note that we are talking neatly finished weld joints here, rather than soft feel plastics. The attention to detail in the engineering is superb. There are various options, including a set of covering panels for the frame. Have them. You'll know why the first time you drive it off-road and mud starts flicking up through the open sides. You'll also perhaps want to invest in the wet weather gear, warm hat and goggles sported by us in the images here, a pair of galoshes wouldn't go amiss either. See it as equipping yourself for a track day with a difference, green lane tracks. Yes, it's an expensive toy, but the amazing thing about aerials is how little money they lose, this also makes them quick and easy to sell on. Honda engines mean they're remarkably efficient, too, the gearing is long and you'll easily see 35 to 40 mpg. Go easy on the spec, it's easy to get carried away. After all, you always wanted a winch, didn't you?